Are we going to Romania? Let's go to Romania. All right, Katanin. Katanin in Romania? Hi. Yes, 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 I am. There was a pronunciation oh. guide. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want to talk about? Uh, yeah, it's pretty weird, and my accent isn't really good, and my English is not so good, so please excuse me so if I make some mistakes. Sure. No, you're good so far. Uh, well, I wanted to talk about uh, the importance of God's story in the in the laws of every country, because okay. I think the story of God is the story of love and empathy, and that's uh, why our laws are built to bring forward our okay. love and empathy, and it comes from uh, the story of God. And that's my true. friends are really not agreeing with with me. Well, I, I, I right now and the giggling a little bit. So I wanted to talk about that. Well, question here. What's your goal? Because if the goal is to use that to back up the claim that God exists, I don't think you're going to have a good an easy time of doing that. Uh, well, well I, I, I believe in God, but I have no proof. And um, my, yes. uh, it, it's really a faith. It's not I, I don't have an answer of, about that. Sure, I'm so, uh, claiming that I, I'm sure that Okay. I, I don't believe it does, but I'm not a fanatic or something like that. Okay, well so so let's 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 make sure that we're drawing a distinction here. You're saying that you think that biblical the Bible and biblical stories uh are exemplary of empathy, compassion, and love. And that you think but that there's benefit all, to that. But Do you, a lot of them are. Do you think that there are other stories that are not in the Bible that are also examples of empathy, compassion, and love? Oh, of course, yes. Okay, so if you think that the Bible and other fictional stories are all can all be examples of empathy, compassion, and love, I don't see where the conversation is anymore because what we want to know is whether or not a God exists. Um, if it's pragmatic to go, hey, you know, uh, well, there's benefit here. I really don't care. I just want to know if it's true. And so, so wanting to call and talk about, you know, well, I think it's useful. I don't care if it's pragmatically useful. I just care whether or not it's true. There are some really harsh truths about the world around us. We just want to know whether or not it's true. Okay. So uh, how, how do you prove it if it is, exists or not? Because we don't have the proof of that. Exactly. It's not scientifically, it's, it's not science to say God does not exist because well, we don't have the proof. We it's have just some modeling about the the creation of the universe, and that doesn't even if that's true, a hundred percent, that doesn't provide the proof that God does not exist. It, it depends on your definition. If you define God as something that can be measured, and you measure, and it's not there, then you've proved that that God doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. So how, how, how do you measure God? Sure. So um, I, I, you're giving me all the cards and I love it. <laughs> uh, so here, here, I'm going to define God as an interventionist God that can, that answers all of my prayers. All right. So I have, you know, brought this glass of water and I love how people are speculating on whether or not it's gin in the live chat. I'm not a lush who drinks at two in the afternoon. <laughs> um, always. <laughs> anyway. Um, so anybody who knows Eric knows that that is not the amount of gin that Eric pours for himself. No. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, Katanin, I'm holding a glass of water and I'm going to pray for this glass of water to boil in my hands. Now, the way I defined that God, right. that God always does what I ask. Okay, I'm praying. Yes. God, please boil this water in my hands. Okay, it's not happening. Well, I... So the God I, that I defined... And I'm praying I'm not going to die. So I'm not dying. Is right. that the proof that God, God exists? Ah. Oh. I'm, I'm so, praying that I'm not dying, and I'm not dying. Is right. that the proof that God exists? That that is a great question. That tells it's us a great counter. Well, it, it, it what what it does is it shows that I have not really clearly talked about falsifiability. Mm -hmm. um, but confirmation, sure. So so what is falsifiability? Falsifiability is a test or something that you can apply to determine whether or not something a claim is true or 
uh, is true. So in science, we don't actually have confirmation that way, but we do have, um, and I say we as if I, I am I know science. that because I'm actually a mathematici uh, mathematician. Oh, so cool. Know a little bit about science. I know that is not a, a really good demonstration, but <laughs> I'm feeling that what you said to me could be said in my perspective, and that doesn't give us any results. Well, let, 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 let me be clear. Good results. I, so, yes. so the way I defined that God, I made a falsifiable claim, right? Because if that God exists, then if I pray, the water will boil. Okay. So I prayed, the water didn't boil. So the God that I defined does not exist. I created a falsifiable claim about it and then tested that and determined, okay, that God does not exist. Now, the God that you're talking about, you know, let's do the same. Is there a falsifiable claim? That, that's what's important. I mean, when you say, okay, I'm praying for God to keep me alive, you understand that you can use that to prop up anything. I mean, I, you you could use that to prop up the existence of aliens that are that are necessary to keep our 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 atmosphere in place, and because of that, those aliens exist because I haven't died. Oh, it's, 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 but I can say the same thing about your hypothesis about the aliens that you pray for the aliens to boil the water, and that uh, and if the water haven't boiled, there no alien. So we're not sure about that. No, we are. We are. We're applying the same methodology, right? The, the, the method is, here is the falsifiable claim. Can I falsify it? Okay, yes, I understand yeah, now. Then you say that the, that the aliens we, uh, we uh, define like aliens who could boil the water if you pray to them, they're not existing. That's what we're saying. If we define God <laughs> like a God who... Because we have, we have used those definitions. Just because I prayed to him. Yeah, we, because that again. Yes, because we've defined that God to be something that responds and does what you ask every time you pray. Okay, but that's not my claim about the God. That's exactly. Not my God. That's the whole point. Exactly. So we need to find a falsifiable claim about yours. Here's the thing. When you bounce it back that way, the, 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 the funny thing is, is and, and I know I missed this on an, on an episode a couple of weeks ago, we all have a burden of proof. We all have a burden of proof for the things that we believe. The thing is, Clearly, why, why, there's a reason why we believe that the earth is round, because we have met our burden of proof. There's a reason why we, we, we believe a lot of the things that we do about scientifically understood phenomena, because they have met their burden of proof. Has your God belief met its burden of proof? No. So quit trying to back it, bounce it back as if that validates yours. Where is your burden of proof? How can you falsify your claim? Tell me something about your God that I can test. Well, I don't know how historically I can get here because I'm not one and I don't know how 100% sure they are. But I know that Romans sent people to Israel to verify the claims about a prophet who bring trouble to the region exactly in the time of when we suppose Jesus Christ existed. So, so there yes. is a little bit of proof that someone who brings, who, no, who, not, not who brings, but someone who created big rumors in that time existed. So yes. I cannot bring a, a, a proof about my God because it's a faith. And I don't know if he really exists. I believe to, I believe in him, but just that is why it's called faith. So, and not science. Well, and, and that's why faith is useless. Katzenin, that's why faith is useless. The example that you gave is fantastic. You just didn't take it to its conclusion. So let me give you an example. Do you know the story of Balaam and his donkey? Right? When the donkey turned and spoke. Do, do, do you know that story? I can give you a different one if you'd like. I, I don't think I know that one. 
Okay, cool. How about uh, the demon legion being cast into the pigs that came, that ran off the cliff? Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, cool. Let's go with that. Do pigs exist? Yes. Ah, so there we go. You can't prove I mean, obviously pigs, pigs exist, so... That means that the story about a demon getting cast into the pigs, well, obviously, I mean, look at the pigs. Here's the thing is there are a lot of things that are in the Bible that do correspond to reality. That does not mean that we should accept the supernatural claims made therein. If you point towards something that actually happened, I will follow you there. The problem comes when people make supernatural claims mm -hmm. because those have not been substantiated. What I'm, I, I understand. I understand totally what you said, and cool. that's the argument I have with my friends, because I cannot bring the evidence that God exists. They don't believe in God, and I understand why people are believing that. I don't know how to say. It, are is kind of a, of a faith in itself, and I understand the concept of burden of proof. If I say something. I need to prove it, not you to prove that it doesn't exist. Perfectly, yeah. perfectly, perfectly understood that. I just say that the story of God with he with her problems, big problems in many spots, is still a very useful story, and it's so useful and so important and so successful that it that it's it's kind of in itself true just because of that I, but i understand your uh, i understand your uh, argument yeah. and uh, I, I i i don't think we're going to agree that the god doesn't exist but <laughs> i perfectly understand your your reasoning and i understand and i understand why you have the claim from me to prove what I'm saying because it's, because it's perfectly normal. I, 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 I just want to challenge you. Fake. Well, I just want to challenge you. Uh, it's, sorry. It's like you're, no, it's okay. okay. I, I, okay. Want to, I, want, I want to challenge you to really think about the concept of the noble lie and call back because the idea that something should be accepted as true because it's useful can be damaging in bad ways. I don't think we should believe something because it's useful. I think we should believe it because there's evidence for it. Also, I do just want to push back a little bit on this idea that it has been successful and useful. The Christian religion, and to lesser extents globally, other Abrahamic religions, have dominated and uh, basically imposed themselves on other religions and on societies that maybe didn't function with a religion. And so when we say, well, look at how successful these countries, like the world is with this religion, we don't have anything to compare it to. We don't know if we have, uh, we have flourished despite it, maybe without the prevalence of the Christian faith. Well, we, we know what happened before, we know what happened before Christianity and it wasn't very good, good from no, no. Um, a, a morality stand of point. Yeah, so my roommate, Holy Kool-Aid, did three videos on this mm -hmm. where they compiled a fuck ton of information that will help you get there. Check out Holy Kool-Aid uh, because on that channel, he has actually done an entire, you know, a, 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 a trilogy of videos on whether or not... Basically um, a statistical survey. Yeah, uh, uh, using tons of tons of different metrics on whether or not believing in God has benefited society. Because you can actually show down the whole list mm -hmm. that um, being religious has a negative correlation, if any. But check it out. Give us a call back. Tell us what you think. Yeah, great call. Thank you for calling in. Yeah. Yeah. Have a great night. You too.